Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to In My Mug. I'm your coffee friend Midori, and today's coffee is a beautiful coffee, natural processed coffee from El Salvador, Finca Argentina, Los Mangos Tablon. Put your kettle on and let's start brewing. So, this Finca Argentina is located in the Apaneca Iomapetec volcanic mountain range this, uh, near the city called Turin. Uh, it's located in the west side of the country. Um, the farm is um, at the 1300 meters above sea level and this beautiful farm has a, a natural hot spring does it all over the place. So Finca Argentina is owned by our dear friend Alejandro and his father Mauricio. They, um, the family currently owns two farms and one of them are Finca Argentina and the another one is called Finca Manuela. Alejandro became involved in the coffee industry after relocating to El Salvador from New York um, where he used to work as a city banker. And in this farm they have seven tablons. So tablons means in Spanish means plot. So they have seven plots of the um, place in the farm and then one of them are los mangos. So los mangos means, you probably guess, it means mangos. So they named uh, los mangos after uh, uh, mango trees um, planted all in that area. So I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who's watching right now, watching my In My Mug journey and giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment. I truly love it. Even my dad, he's commenting on the message. One of the comments that people are saying, uh, they want to know how to dial in your coffee. You know, when you're drinking at home or, you know, you're drink using AeroPress, Chemex, you know, Kalita Brewers. And I wanted to show you today, I want to show you how I would dial in my Finca Argentina Los Mangos Tablon coffee using this wheel for grinder. Is your hot water boiled? Let's start brewing. So, wheel for grinder. Um, this is such a really easy use, uh, easy to use grinder. It um, comes with the bars, like a professional coffee grinder, uh, which you can take apart, um, not completely, but then you can clean inside. Um, these buttons uh, is a grind button, and then you can change the second, so um, you can uh, just leave it on and it automatically stops. Uh, this is a button, so it's really simple, it's easy to use and you can um, grind as fine as mocha pot. So not really for espresso, I actually never tried so I cannot really say. If you have tried, please let me know in the comment box in below and you can do air press and filter uh, French press, steep, and off. Off means you can take it off, this upper hopper, and you can take a part if you have a brush like this. I really love this brush. This brush honestly saves my day every day. And you can just clean it properly. You know, you can, as you can see, um, there's some dust um, stick to the burrs sometimes. These um, will affect the flavor of the coffee. And then I'll show you how I can grind this. So I'm brewing AeroPress. So I put this AeroPress. Oh, I need a coffee. <laughs> ah! And then I put coffee on top. Just like tiny bit so you can see what kind of grind size you're getting. And then press stop. Okay, so you can change the second too, that's cool. And then see on your hand, I really like this spout bit because it's so easy to pour in the uh, AeroPress, you know, V60 Chemex. Okay. That's really good. Um, it has really nice coarse, medium coarse grinds. Um, and then if you get something like really fine, then just 
get rid of these grinds and then try grind again and then see um, if it goes uh, close to the medium, medium cost. So what you should expect is uh, coarser than like table salt. Um, if it's finer than that, um, then you should ch change the grind side and then, you know, or you can try it and then taste it. And then if you see, if you like it, you should trust your taste bud because you've been drinking coffee over whatever the many years. I've probably been drinking coffee over 20 years um, because my dad likes coffee and um, I was drinking coffee when I was really, you know, 10 years old. Um, let's brew it and then see how it goes. So when I show you like how to dial it, like I wish there is like a way that like, you know what, just put this, you know, grind size on and then brew it, that's a perfect grind size. I wish there is something like that, but unfortunately there is not. So what I usually do is I basically, based on like how it looks like, and you gotta taste it. You have to trust your palate. And what I usually do, just um, put even like hand grinder, um, you have to see the grind size. So put a few coffee beans, I know it's kind of precious coffee. And just grind. And then see what kind of grind size coffee it comes out. So I just used um, this AeroPress setting, a little bit uh, finer. It actually, the coffee didn't come out that much. <laughs> it is because um, the grind sometimes sits in the bars. So, a little bit more. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, looking at this, I think it's a little bit finer than I want to. Um, it looks quite fine. Um, what you need is like... Um, coarser than, this one looks like like finer than table salt, um, but you want is like coarser than table salt. So I change it, and maybe a little bit coarser than like this AeroPress mark, okay? And I'll get rid of this. And then grind again. Okay, yeah, this one looks much better. And then I will brew this and then taste it and then I will show you um, what kind of flavor you should expect. Okay, so I will use the golden ratio, which is 60 grams per 1,000 milliliter. Um, so what you do, I, use, I will use 240 grams of hot water, so 240, times 0 0.06 and then it will give me 14.4 grams. So I'll put 14.4 grams of the coffee. It's really useful, this um, little gap. It's so easy to pour coffee in. Okay, so 14.4, tear it, and you need a timer. Okay, you've got timer on Luna, amazing. Make sure to um, wash the filter beforehand. And then as soon as you pour the hot water in, you start the timer. Mm -hmm. So if you already have your um, coffee grind size that you really like, um, and then you realize, oh, like it, it's kind of different like when you're brewing, um, natural processed coffee and washed processed coffee and that's normal like just don't freak out <laughs> and you just need to trust your sense of your taste for example if you are tasting something um, is dry um, so how i usually taste the dryness is like how you don't have saliva on in your mouth so you um, drink it, your coffee, hold it for like about two to three seconds. What I usually do is um, just drink it and then look down and then if you see um, you'll get any saliva. So if it's 
uh, you get a lot of saliva that um, the coffee is high acidity. And then if you don't get anything, it's more of like, you feel like grippy texture that you usually get overbrewed tea. That's a dry sensation. So when you feel dry, that's probably over extracted. And the under extracted is kind of tricky in a way because people get um, like a sour, acidic, um, and then they, people feel that's wrong, but you know, it's almost, the coffee is a natural product. So it's almost like strawberries, you know, the summer strawberry is like really sweet and then, but it's still acidic, but people don't feel it because of the sweetness and it's really strong. And then if you eat the winter strawberries, like the acidic is higher and then people don't think it's wrong. It's, it's the natural flavor of the, its fruit. So if you feel something that's um, a little bit sour and then like lacking sweetness and like it finish really fast, probably that's under extracted. Okay, so two minutes has been. So I'm gonna just um, squeeze this out and then taste the coffee. Okay, so let's taste this coffee. Okay, so this coffee is really tasty. <laughs> you can still taste great, um, like a mango-like sweetness. It has really nice sweetness. And then, but also it gives me dryness. That probably means I ground it um, a little bit too fine. So when I try to change it, um, you could do one notch at the time, but if you don't know how your grinder reacts, how much change it will make, um, I would uh, change like even two. And then you change it two, and then you feel, okay, that's gone too far. Then you can still go back one notch. But if you think it's still dry, then you can, you know, you still have to go, keep going. <laughs> and um, so what causes over extraction? So over extraction is caused by, um, it, it could be grind size is too fine. Um, the grind uh, dose is too high. And it could be, grind, uh, hot, the temperature is too hot. Uh, it could be uh, you've been brewing for a long time. So in this scenario, I'm only changing the grind size, but some people, they, they don't have a grinder and they already buy a ground coffee, then what you could do is change the coffee dosage. Um, so when you're changing something, don't change everything. You should treat it like science project. You should change only one thing at a time. So if you're changing temperature of the hot water, you should just focus on that and then if it doesn't change anything because you don't know why is this flavor um, is causing um, a cause of what you know it could be a grind size it could be a dose um, but what the moment I'm sticking with the grind size um, so I'm gonna uh, I would change two notches and taste again and if it, it still gives um, um, dry sensation, but it has sweetness. Sometimes it's because the grinder is not clean. <laughs> so I would recommend you to have, do I have a brush? Yes, this is my favorite thing. So if you have a brush like this, um, make sure to clean inside and get rid of like, you know, different size grinder, uh, coarse grind, grind. And then brew again, taste it, and you know, there's, I wish there's like straightforward, easiest way, but unfortunately there isn't. <laughs> so um, for me, usually it takes about three or even four attempt to find my favorite cup of coffee. And then you can actually drink probably three a max. 
three cups of three cups of coffee or max a day. So usually for me, it takes about two days to find a great, you know, um, perfect, not perfect for me. There isn't, isn't like such a perfect grind size, but like great, a cup of coffee. So yeah, so this coffee, still you can like, even though it has like a dryness, but it has like a really juicy, creamy texture, has nice bright acidity. It's almost like, like plum, like yellow plum. So like nice, bright, crisp acidity. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, if you don't, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in below what kind of brewing method you're using. I really want to know what kind of brewing method or coffee you are enjoying. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys next week. Happy brewing.